Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. My name is Sam and I'm going to be leading you through an intermediate level power yoga workout. So we don't need any props for this practice. It's just gonna be you and the mat and this truly is an intermediate practice. So you're gonna to wanna to have a little bit of knowledge in the terminology of some of these poses, some of the alignment that's required in some of these poses, because we're gonna move fairly quickly, at least once we get to standing. But before we get to all of that, I just wanna remind you to please like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with all of my new classes that I release every week here on YouTube. And we're gonna start today's practice nice and easy with a good warm up, lying down on your back, finding a reclined butterfly. So making your way down, soles of your feet together, knees can just open up to the sides of your mat. And I always like to take my hands and place them on my belly. You can do the same at home, especially kicking off our practice in this way. I like to use the hands as a reminder to breathe down low, finding deep belly breaths so your hands will rise and fall with the inflow and outflow of your breath. So take about five or so really deep breaths into your hands here. Really feel that rise and fall. Legs are totally relaxed. We're not forcing the knees open. Gravity is just gently guiding us further into that hip opener. And gently guiding your knees back up to the sky, planting the soles of your feet on the floor. You may want to bring your hands into a T position out to the sides here. And then you're just gonna let your knees fall over towards the right. And keep your feet where they were. And then you're gonna take your right ankle and just hook it on the outside of your right, your left knee, sorry. And then let the weight of that leg guide your left knee closer to the floor. So we're really finding an internal rotation here through your left leg. And if you are a dancer, do any kind of ballet, this is really, really great for your hips because of course we spend a lot of time in a turned out place. And in this pose, we're encouraging the opposite motion. So we're encouraging some internal rotation, allowing those external rotators to lengthen and relax them a bit of a break here. So your left hip will lift off the mat, but you wanna keep your shoulders anchored into the floor. And if at any point you feel any pain or discomfort through that left knee, you can always just place that right ankle back down on the floor and just let gravity be what's pulling your knee closer to the floor. So always gauging what you need, listening to your body. And now if you have maintained that hook of your ankle, you're gonna keep it there and float your left knee back up to the sky. So we have this figure four shape with the legs, and then you're gonna thread your arms through, grabbing a hold of either your shin or the back of your thigh, pulling yourself into a reclined pigeon pose. Taking a couple of breaths here, feel your right knee opening up so that we can feel a stretch through the outer right glute. And from here, you're gonna grab the back of your thigh if you hadn't already, and you're gonna stretch your left leg up to the sky, keeping both feet flexed here, and gently guiding that left leg closer to you. You might even wanna reach through, maybe grabbing above the knee, if the flexibility is there. Keeping a straight knee on the left leg, 
And then we're gonna release that right leg back down to the floor, but keep your left leg lifted. And we're gonna keep it flexed for right now. Remembering to grab either above, above or below the knee, not right behind the knee, because we're gonna turn this into a bit of, bit more of a dynamic stretch. So put energy through your supporting leg, flexing through your right foot as well. And then you're gonna push your leg into your hands as if your leg is trying to reach down to the floor, but your hands are stopping it. So we're pushing into that leg or into those arms for three more seconds. Feel that the entire back of your leg engaging. And then as we exhale, you're gonna pull it in closer to you. And let's stretch all the way through that left foot, keeping your right foot flexed and parallel, so turned in underneath you. And again, let's flex that left foot and push into your hands for five seconds here. And we'll stretch through the foot and release, pull it closer towards you. Last time, flex and push. And point, pull it in. And with that, we'll bend through the left knee, release it back down onto the floor, placing both soles of your feet back down onto the mat. And we're gonna go right away and do that little sequence on the other side. So arms making a T, your knees fall to the left. And once you've found this knee fall position to the left, you're gonna take your left ankle, hook the outside of your right knee and just guide that leg into your internal rotation. Feeling your shoulders still anchoring into the floor. And it's totally natural here for one hip to feel totally different than the other in this internal rotation here. Most of us have different capacities for rotation in both hips, both internally and externally. So just make note of how this hip feels in comparison to the other on the first side. Continuing to breathe deep into your belly. Allowing the back of your glute on the right side to fully relax. So those external rotators are releasing. And we'll gently power up the core just to lift the knee back up to the sky, maintaining that hook of the left foot so that you can thread your arms through, grabbing a hold of that shin and just guiding yourself into reclined pigeon. Stretching in through your left glute this time, which should feel really nice since we've already done the sequence on the other side. And flexing through the right leg now, grabbing whatever you can and stretching that leg out in front of you, just finding length towards the sky first and then we'll release that left leg, reach it back down to the floor, keep it stretched, engaged and turned in. So we're not letting it open up into turnout and then finding that same dynamic stretch here on the right side. So pushing into your hands, finding that resistance for a three, two, one, point the foot, pull it in closer towards you. Flex and here we go again, push it into the hands for five seconds. Feel engaged to the back of your legs and then point, relax. Pull it in a little bit closer towards you. Last time here, flex and push. Find as much push resistance as you can, engaging through those arms to stop the leg. Two more seconds and we stretch. Pull it in closer towards you. And let's bend through that leg, release it. And this time you're gonna stretch it out beside the left flexing through both feet this time. And I want you to feel engaged through your core. So plugging your lower back down into the mat, reach your fingertips towards your heels. And we're gonna tuck the chin, rolling up through the spine, all the way up to take a seat. Arms are gonna reach up, take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna roll back down. So starting from your belly button, pulling back, arms reach forward, heels stay in contact with the mat the entire time and we release back down. Again, tuck, sitting up. Once you get to the top, take a really big inhale to find length. And on an exhale, pull your belly button in, rounding back down the way we came, finding some core engagement here. Two more, tuck the chin, 
Big inhale to sit up. Big exhale to roll all the way down. Last time, inhale. We're gonna sit up and stay and we'll release. You're gonna take your feet, bringing them underneath you, coming to take a seat on your heels and we'll just bring ourselves a little bit more towards the back of our mat instead of being right in the center. Then you're gonna take your hands behind you, fingertips towards your heels and then just gently lift your, your hips up off your feet. So we're stretching through your quads and I want you to feel your shoulder blades pulling together behind you. So you're opening up through the heart, opening up through the front line of your body, pushing those hips up, engaging those glutes, holding here, continuing to breathe for three, two, and one. We'll release, walk your hands forward, finding a quadruped position on all fours, hands right under your shoulders, knees are right under your hips, taking it into a few rounds of cat and cow. We're gonna inhale, let your tail and crown reach up towards the sky. Shoulder blades are gonna plug together behind you. Arms rotate in so your elbows are pointing towards the back of the room. And then on the exhale, your arms are gonna rotate the opposite direction. Your shoulder blades spread across your back and we curve in towards each other. Again, inhale, opening up. Exhale, cat position. Let's take three more, moving at the pace of your own breath here. So following that inhale and exhale. And I encourage you to move slowly. We're gonna speed up our practice a little bit later, but right now I want you to Really milk out all of those transitions and feel how your body is moving from one position to the next. Becoming very, very mindful of all of those joints in your body. Taking your last round or so. And when you're done coming back to a neutral spine, you're gonna extend your right leg out behind you and just sit into your heel. So we're stretching through the calf a little bit and then transferring your weight back into your hands. You're gonna inhale, finding that same arch, but with your heel reaching up to the sky this time. Again, feel those shoulder blades wrapping. And then exhale, you're gonna pull your knee in towards your nose, wrap your shoulder blades away and curve your spine. Again, inhale. Find that arch, exhale, breathe it in and curve. Inhale to arch, exhale, we curve. This is our last one. Inhale, keep that knee pointing towards the floor, we're turned in and exhale. This time step your right leg all the way through in between your palms, finding a low lunge. So sinking those hips low, keep your knee right over your ankle and just coming up to your fingertips so that you can shine your heart forward. Feel those shoulder blades coming together behind you. Take a nice big inhale here. And then exhale, we're gonna push into the heel, take it back and straighten over your front leg. Again, moving through it, we inhale, shine the heart forward, shoulder blades plug back behind you. Exhale, it's like we're still within that cat and cow framework, but we've added our leg here. We inhale, shoulder blades open, Exhale, let's hold here just for a few more breaths so you can fully relax your forehead towards your shin. Try to keep your hips totally square behind you so your right hip may need to plug back ever so slightly. And from here now, you're gonna use your hands to help you bringing your right hand to meet your left and you're gonna rotate your left leg so that your shin is now parallel to the short edge of your mat and then coming to the outside edge of your right foot as we come up to find a gate pose, now facing the long edge of your mat here. So I'm not mirroring you, so you're gonna inhale your left arm up, finding a nice long spine, and then on the exhale, you're gonna bend towards your extended leg, finding gate pose here. I like to think of this almost as a, like a reverse warrior because our leg is doing almost exactly the same thing, just we're supported by our knee underneath us. And you really wanna feel that you're pushing your hips forward so we're not 
creasing through that hip and piking, but we're all the way forward, opening up through that side body. And let's inhale to come back up to center. You're gonna take that left hand back down to the mat, right arm up, finding a modified side plank here. And then we're gonna really power up our core. Your right hand is gonna come to the outside of your ear and you're gonna push into your hand and your foot to extend that left leg out. On an exhale, you're gonna bend in, elbow towards your knee. Inhale, extend that leg. Again, exhale, take it in. Inhale, to extend. Last time, exhale, in. Inhale, extend the arm and the leg together, hold. From here, we're gonna bend that left knee in. Keep it lifted off the mat, finding a three-legged plank facing the back of your mat. Hips are low. Feel those shoulder blades pushing the floor away. Hold for a three, two, and chaturanga. Keep that left leg lifted. Then we can release it to inhale for your cobra or up dog. And exhale, take your downward facing dog. Our first one of the class. So you can paddle through the feet, shake your head out yes and no. Bending and stretching and then finding a place of rest. Appreciating the stillness. And we'll drop the knees back down onto the mat. Coming to face the back of your mat now. Repeating that on the other side. We're gonna start with this chest opener, bringing your hands behind you and then pushing your hips up to the sky. Keep your shoulder blades wrapping around the back, looking up. Feeling nice and open through the front body. Maybe feeling a nice stretch through your shoulders. One more breath. And we'll release, taking it forward. We're gonna shorten our cat and cow just a little bit here. So let's just take three rounds right away, following the flow of your own breathing. Curving your spine. Inhaling up. Curving your spine. Maybe coming into your final round here. And once you've completed all three, finding your neutral spine, finding length and extending that left leg back, taking your weight back, pushing your heel towards your back wall, finding length through that left leg. And then transfer your weight back into your hands, lifting your left leg up. Inhale, finding that arch with the leg. Exhale, we curve. Again, inhale, lifting the knee, keeping it turned in. Exhale, curve it in. Feel your shoulder blades wrapping around your back. Last one. Inhale up. Exhale, curve. This time stepping the foot all the way through in between your hands. Finding a nice low lunge, opening up through your shoulders. Taking a moment here. Take a nice big inhale, feeling long through the spine. And then on the exhale, we push into the heel, release forward over that front leg. Again, inhale, wrap the shoulder blades behind you, open your heart. We exhale, push it back. Again, inhale, opening up through the chest, hips low. We exhale, push it back this time, relaxing, holding this position for a moment. Taking a few deep belly breaths to make sure those hips are nice and square. And from here, we open up to face the long edge of our mat. Coming up to our gate pose position, Again, feel that your hips are nice and square here. So you're gonna need to sink into the left hip a little bit, feeling long through that right leg. And let's inhale to grow even longer on the right side by adding the arm. And we exhale, bending towards that extended leg. Finding a nice side body stretch, stretching those obliques. Right before we give them a nice good workout. And we'll inhale back up, exhale, take it down, finding your modified side plank first. Get yourself in a good position. Make sure that that arm is right underneath your shoulder. 
And from here, we're gonna inhale the right leg, stretch it out in front of you. Bringing the left hand, sorry, onto your head before we exhale to bring your elbow and knee together. Inhale, re-extend twice more. Exhale, take it in. Inhale to extend. Last one, exhale, in. Inhale, extend and hold. Push the floor away from you. Two more seconds. And we'll find plank, three-legged plank with your right leg extended out behind you. Find length through your body, inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog, both legs are extended. Exhale, downward facing dog. And again, shake out your body. Do what you need here in this down dog. And then once you feel a little bit more settled, finding stillness, reaching along the backs of your legs and breathing. Feel your shoulder blades continuing to wrap around your ribs. And from here, you're just gonna take your feet, walk them forward to the top of your mat, and just find a nice right doll fold here. Maybe swaying a little bit side to side. Let your shoulders and neck relax towards the floor. And let's come to center. Take a bend through both legs and stretch. And again, plie and stretch. Last one, plie, we roll up inch by inch through the spine, head and shoulders are the last to recover. And let's bring your toes together, heels about an inch or so apart. We're gonna do half sun salutations, two of them. So just our standing portions at the top of the mat here. So you're gonna inhale, reach the arms up, feel your palms touch. Exhale, we dive forward over those legs. Inhale, halfway lift, flat back, reach your crown and tail. Exhale, fold. Inhale, arms sweep up the sides, palms come to touch. And exhale, palms to your heart center. Again, just like that. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, dive forward. You know, length through the back of your legs as we inhale, halfway lift. We exhale, place the hands back down on the floor. We inhale, push to stand, feel power through those legs. As we exhale, hands come together. Adding a chair at the front and back of our flow. So we inhale, sweep the arms, sit back into your chair. Look at your toes. We exhale to fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Bend the knees as we inhale, taking it back to chair. Exhale, pushing back up to a full standing position. Once more like that, inhale, sweep, chair pose. Exhale, dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift, straightening those legs. Exhale, we bend, finding our chair, and we're gonna hold here this time. So make sure your weight, I just caught myself, is a little bit further back so that you can see your toes. So we're sitting more into our heels. Bend the balls of our feet here. Now your left leg is going to lift, crossing the thighs once or twice, finding your eagle pose. Arms will reach out to the sides, left arm crossing under the right, lifting the elbows up. So we're stretching through your upper back here, fixing your eyes on an unmoving point in front of you, feeling that balance and that foundation needed through the sole of your right foot. We're gonna inhale, push to stand, bring that left knee up with you. Exhale, we're gonna take that leg back, finding warrior three, trying to maintain the arms here. So you really have to use your lower body and core to find your balance. Take one more breath here. We're gonna inhale the arms out. Exhale, rotate your body, keep your eyes where they are, finding half moon. Maybe you're able to float that right hand, maybe you wanna place the fingertips on the floor. Taking one more breath here. Bending through the back leg, finding a hold of that foot with your left hand. Maybe pushing it up into your full sugar cane variation. So really stretching through the back of your right leg now. 
feeling a little bit of quad stretch through the left. And from here, you're gonna extend your left leg up to the sky, left arm comes down to the floor, finding standing splits. From here, we're gonna exhale right away, bending through both knees, finding a tight little ball, your knees are cross. Inhale, back up to your standing splits. Again, we exhale, bending everything in together. Inhale, push to your split. Last time, exhale. Inhale, finding that split. We're gonna gently lower the back leg, bending through your supporting leg, finding warrior two with your legs, windmill your arms all the way up. Feel nice and low through that front supporting leg. Feel that heat starting to generate through your body. From here, we're gonna inhale the right arm up, left arm down. Exhale, finding your reverse warrior. And from here, keep your bend, but just straighten through the front leg. Feeling a little bit of extra stretch through the side of your body. We're gonna inhale, take the arms up, turning your back heel, spinning to face the top of your mat, taking it forward into a wide pyramid pose. So your back heel may not end up on the floor, that's okay. We're finding this wide leg position here so that you can fully relax over that front leg and just let that hamstring stretch after all of that balance work. And now from here, bending into your front leg, finding a, a high lunge here, pressing your hands into the floor, coming into three-legged dog, so that right knee is going to reach up to the sky, keeping it bent. And from here, you're gonna let that knee continue to fall off of your mat, finding wild thing. So again, finding length through the front of your quad on the right side, squeezing your glutes to push your hips higher continuing to breathe. And now a bit of a fun transition from here. You're gonna reach your right hand back down to meet the left. Your knee is gonna swing all the way around as we walk our hands to find a reverse tabletop with your right knee in. And we're going to inhale, push the hips and the leg up. Shoulder blades wrap around your ribs. Exhale, bend it in. Inhale up, exhale in. Last one, inhale up. Exhale in, place both feet on the floor. Walk your hands towards your heels till your knees can gently come down onto your mat, finding a little bit of a toe squat. Take an inhale, exhale. We're gonna place the hands, send your weight back, finding a little squat and push your hips up, finding a rig doll fold here on the second side. So a nice little standing flow there to really engage through our legs finding some balance. So appreciate this moment here of rest before we power it up once again. Let's just take one bend on this side right away, rolling up through your spine. We're gonna do our half sun salutations again, so bringing your feet together, but this time jumping right into the chair variation. So right away we inhale, sweep the arms, sitting back in your chair. Exhale, diving forward over those legs, straighten your knees. As we inhale, halfway lift. We exhale to fold. Inhale, sitting back in that chair. Exhale, straightening the legs, push to sand. Feeling that foundation into the floor. Inhale, send the hips back, chair. Exhale, folding over those legs. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, holding here this time. Sending your weight back into your heels. Feeling your left foot especially grounding into the floor so that we can lift the right, crossing the thighs, maybe once, maybe twice. Arms reach out to the side, right arm under left, crossing once or twice. Lift the elbows up closer towards your eye line so we can stretch through those shoulders, keeping the hips low. Eagle pose. And now we inhale, lifting the right knee up with us. Exhale, woo, fighting for that balance. Take it back, finding your warrior three. It's definitely challenging with your arms, kind of in the way of your eyes here. 
So you want to think that you're looking past your arms towards your floor. The arms should be a little bit out of focus. And then we'll go ahead and inhale, reach the arms out. Exhale, open everything up. Keep your eyes where they are. Fight for that balance as we come to your half moon. We're only here for a moment. We're gonna inhale to grow long. We're gonna exhale to bend that back knee, finding sugar cane, grabbing hold of that foot, kicking it up, finding that stretch through your left leg and through your right quads. Breathing deep here, holding your breath won't help you. We're gonna release, finding standing splits here on the left side. Let's exhale, bending everything in, crossing the knees. Inhale, push, unfold that split. Exhale, bending everything in. Inhale, push, finding your split. Exhale, this is our last one here. Inhale, push it up. And now very gently, bending through your supporting leg, stepping that foot back, finding your warrior two. Oh, easier said than done. And continuing to sink low through those hips, keep 90 degrees with that front leg. It might be a little bit on fire, that's okay. Let's inhale the right, the left arm up. Exhale, bending to the right, finding your reverse warrior, taking a little bit of pressure off that front leg. And we're gonna keep the arms as they are. Just stretch through that front leg, which should feel glorious. And we'll inhale the arms up. Spin your back heel so they're both parallel. Testing your balance here again as we take it forward to your very wide pyramid pose. So again, your back heel might be lifted, but we want to ensure that both of your toes are pointing towards the top of your mat. We're taking a little bit of a longer hold here so that we can enjoy this stretch into your front leg. Keep a small micro bend through that knee so we're not stretching into your hyperextension. And from here, bending the front knee, bringing your weight into your hands so that we can float that knee up, finding a three-legged dog. And right away, let that knee continue into your wild thing, pushing the floor away. Feel your right shoulder pulling down away from your ear so that we can, even though we're sort of upside down here, you're still creating space for your neck. Feel your fingertips pressing into the floor. Feel your glutes squeezing up to the sky. And we have our fun little knee swivel to come back, bringing your left hand down to the mat. Swing that left knee all the way around. Your arms continue finding tabletop here with that left knee bent. We inhale, push through the glutes. Left leg extends. Exhale, release. Inhale, push. Exhale, release. Last one, inhale, push, hold for a moment. My body's shaking a little bit, but that's okay. We're gonna bend through that leg, walk your hands towards your heels, bringing your knees to the floor. Whew. Sitting up tall, finding a moment to rest for your toe squat. And we'll take the hands in front, send your hips up to the sky. Ragdoll fold right away into your down dog. Take a moment here before we let the knees fall, taking it into a very well-deserved child's pose. <sighs> Breathing into your belly. Feel your belly expand and contract against your thighs. Feeling your heart rate return to normal. Feel that heat and that sweat, perhaps. And just feel gratitude and appreciation for this nice rest here. Before we come into our final power sequence and then our cool down. So you're almost there. <laughs> Take five more breaths in this child's pose here. Letting your body relax.
And from here, we're just gonna walk ourselves out onto our bellies. So coming to this prone position with the body. And we, as I mentioned, we have one final power flow before we start our cool down. So you're gonna reach your arms out in front of you. Legs are up behind you. They can be about hip width distance apart. And you wanna feel that your hips are rotating in. So we're in a parallel position with both of your legs. Knees are pulled up, lifted off the mat. And you might wanna squeeze just a little bit into your glutes to press your pelvis into the floor. From here, you're gonna reach long through your arms. We're gonna inhale the upper body up. Let's exhale to swim the arms back, finding a little bit of extra height. Then the arms bend almost like a devil to pay forward, up overhead, and then exhale, take it back down. Again, we inhale up, exhale, arms back. Inhale to re-extend, exhale down. Twice more like that, inhale up, exhale, arms back. Inhale, arms forward, exhale down. Last time, we inhale, exhale back. Inhale, bend the arms forward, exhale down. This time we're lifting both the upper body and the lower body, finding a locust pose with the arms extended up overhead. And let's pulse through the arms and the legs like you're swimming or learning to swim. Palms are down, feel those back muscles engage, and we'll relax. Bring your forehead onto your hands, maybe turning your head to face one side. Just taking a moment of rest, catching your breath. And we're gonna bend into your back legs, reaching your arms back to grab the outsides of your heels. Take an inhale here on an exhale. You're gonna push into your hands, Lifting your upper body, feel your shoulders wrapping around, pulling down away from your ears. Feel long through your spine as it lifts up. So even though we're finding an arch, we're not compressing here. Fight for a little bit of extra height. And we will release. Take your hands, push your hips back. Finding a quick little child's pose here. This time, let's bring your knees all the way together. Taking a few deep breaths, allowing your spine to curve. One more. And from here, walking yourself back out to that prone position. This time, you're gonna bend your right knee and bring it up towards your armpit here. So we're stretching also in through that inner groin. And then your arms are still bent, hands right under your shoulders. And then on an inhale, you're gonna push into your hands to come all the way up to find a full back extension here, but with that knee bent in behind me. I maybe should have started with the other side so you could see that knee a little bit better. But as long as you've got it pulling up as high as it can go, you should be in a good spot. So, Continuing to breathe here, slowing down our practice. Feel long through the spine. We're gonna take this right into a spinal stretch. So on your exhale, you're gonna take your left hand, threading it under the right to bring your shoulders down onto the floor so that we're anchoring through the shoulders. Your right knee will lift. So we have a nice, easy spinal twist here. Your eyes might want to go to the right, so opposite position of your legs. And then you're gonna bend through your bottom leg, grabbing a hold of your left foot. So finding a position called cat chasing its tail. So you're stretching now again through your quads underneath you. Really important here to keep that right shoulder plugging into the floor. In this position, I'm always tempted to allow it to lift, but you really wanna feel that your shoulders are anchored so that the rest of your spine can twist in a nice and healthy way. And let's release your left leg underneath you. You're going to roll back onto your belly and you can re-extend that right leg out. So we're back in this original prone shape. And now you're gonna bend your left knee up into your left armpit, hands right under your shoulders. And on an inhale, we push into the mat coming all the way up, finding your full arch here with that knee 
bent in. So you might feel a bit of an extra stretch through the front of your right hip here, since it's isolated as the only extended leg out behind you. And of course, if you feel any pinching in your lower back, you can always bend through your arms or walk them a little bit more forwards here so that we take a little bit of intensity off of that lower back. Otherwise, finding that full extension, breathing up, lengthening through the spine. Taking one final inhale here. And on our exhale, we'll thread the right arm under the left and then rolling yourself onto your back so that your left shoulder now can plug down onto the floor. Your left knee will lift and then bending your right leg, trying to grab a hold of it with your left hand, finding cat chasing its tail. And your eyes may also fall towards the left. Your right hand can gently guide your left knee to come closer to the floor. Really enjoying this final spinal stretch here. And to come out of it on this side, you're gonna release your right leg underneath you and then continue to roll onto your back. And then, of course, you may need to adjust yourself since that was a lot of rolling to come back onto your mat. And then we're just gonna come up to take a seat for our final couple of poses. Give your legs a nice shake. And we're gonna bow forward into a caterpillar stretch. So let's keep your legs, we're gonna keep this a little bit more passive and yin in style. Your legs are relaxed. You'll breathe your arms up, finding a long spine first. And then on an exhale, let yourself curve forward. Your arms will fall to the outsides of your legs. So we're not tempted to push or pull here. But just let your spine curve, let your belly relax, let your legs relax, your shoulders and head will relax. So as I mentioned, this is a little bit more passive. So we're not pushing or pulling to get farther into the stretch, just finding that limit, finding your edge, and then allowing your body to rest in that place. And as you breathe, just inviting gravity to pull you forward. So there's very little to no effort on your part here. Just letting those legs that we worked really hard find a nice release. Let your hips release, your spine, your shoulders. And we'll use your hands to walk yourself back up to our seated position. Bringing your feet a little bit closer together, you're gonna take your right knee, crossing it over the left, almost as if we're doing half of a cow's face pose. So your knees are actually somewhat stacked. The right leg is turned out and your left leg is a little bit more into the center. And we're gonna be a little more active with this one, flexing through your left leg. Now I find this stretch to be incredibly humbling. So we're in it together as we inhale the arms up and then exhale, just like we did on that first stretch, you're gonna bow forward and you may find that you're really not able to go as far as you were with both legs extended. This is because we're forcing this left leg into a fully parallel position and adding a little bit of weight onto it with that left knee. So we're targeting more towards the outsides of your left leg here. So you wanna keep that leg a little bit engaged, but your upper body is released, so we're not pushing or pulling here. And just breathing into it with that same intention, just allowing gravity to be what pulls you forward, releasing towards the outside of that left leg. Taking two more breaths here. And let's inhale, extend the arms out so we're finding a bit of a longer spine to come up. And then exhale, release. Let's stretch the right leg out. Left leg is gonna right away bend, crossing those knees. 
And just like we did on the first side, keeping your right foot flexed, we inhale, arms up, exhale, take that forward fold. And again, you may find that you're not able to go quite so far. Just enjoy that deep stretch to the outside of your legs. No matter how flexible you are, there's always gonna be one or two poses in yoga that really challenge your body. And it'll be different for everybody, of course. And it's really good every once in a while to revisit those poses and to not always just do what you're good at. We wanna push ourselves to, to tackle and to face those poses that can be a little bit challenging because that's how we grow as yogis and as people. And this is definitely one of those poses for me. Taking one more breath. Let's inhale, reaching the arms out and all the way up to take a seat. Let's bend through both legs this time. Maybe just take a windshield wiper motion with your legs and your hips. And then we're gonna lower all the way down into our Shavasana. If you feel that you need a happy baby or another hip stretch here, feel free to take that now before we settle. But for me, I'm definitely craving this nice relaxation. Just allow your legs to flop open, your arms to flop open your heart to open up towards the sky. And just allow your body to relax into the mat. I invite you to imagine that any tension that you start to discover as we lie here in Shavasana is just gonna gently melt off of your body like butter into the floor. Sometimes you might surprise yourself and think that you're totally relaxed and completely giving into gravity, but then 10 or 15 seconds later into your Shavasana, you realize that there was more relaxation to find within that joint. Sometimes we find that we unconsciously hold tension through the shoulders, try to melt those farther into the mat. Sometimes we unconsciously hold tension through the ankles, maybe through the hips, maybe in the wrists and the hands. Maybe we have tension through the glutes, just releasing that, those. And then finally, coming up to your neck, head and face and just notice if there's any unconscious tension being held here. Sometimes without even realizing it, there can be tension in your jaw, maybe between your eyebrows, maybe even behind your eyelids themselves, holding tension through the eyes. Try to relax your tongue. Try to relax the back of your neck so it reaches long. And continue here with another 10 to 15 breaths. Bring that deep belly breathing back into your mind and continue to explore parts of your body that can release more into the floor and find an even more melting sensation. And when you're ready, gently 
and start to wiggle your fingers and toes. Let your head fall from side to side. And no rush whatsoever. Just make your way onto one side. Taking a moment to breathe here. And then gently pushing yourself up to take a seat. Maybe crossing your legs. Take a moment to feel nice and long through your spine. Taking a couple of breaths here in this upright position. Take a moment to thank yourself for stepping onto the mat today and working so hard through that flow, tackling each and every challenge as I threw it at you. And with gratitude, let's bring our hands together in front of our hearts, bowing forward. Namaste. Thank you so, so much for doing this practice with me. I hope you really enjoyed it and really got a good workout in. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go and I will see you on the mat again very soon. Have a great rest of your day.